here. It looks like we have new members of the Tea Party. Welcome to Tea Party Orientation. And like I always say, the Tea Party only has one orientation, and that's straight. Today what we're going to do is review our agendas for orientation. And don't worry, this is not a liberal gay agenda. This is a conservative straight agenda. Again, welcome. My name is Wade Martin Murphy and I'll be your Tea Party orientation leader. Let's review, okay? We believe our government, as you can read in your agenda along with me, our government is in a bad way, full of fiduciary misconduct. Mm-hmm. Big government godlessness and people wearing white after Labor Day. Here's a little history lesson for you. When our forefathers first landed on Plymouth Rock in what is now modern day Iowa, after the waters of the Great Flood receded, they brought with them the values of conservative evangelicalism. And we need to turn back to those values today and that's what we're gonna do here in the Tea Party. Okay, the first task our forefathers had was to help out the native savages, you know, help out those savages by bringing them the Word of God, by bringing them Christianity and free market capitalism. They did that before they went on to selflessly give them the most attractive and casino rich lands of our great nation. Fact. Very important to remember that. Fact. The liberal media tries to point us as having treated the native savages poorly, and that just is not the truth. And we won't let them put their bias on us, will we? No. And then the Revolutionary War started with the shots that rang out at the famous Battle of Lexington, Kentucky. Fact. That's where our ancestors put their foot down to escape the Great British Isles and their tyranny. Uh, they were a kingdom filled with gay atheists and liberal agendas, and they're that way today. I will, I, will, I will not go across the pond, as they say. Sounds a lot like going to the other side of the fence, playing for the other team. Little metaphors of sex, I won't stand for it as an American. Our forefathers, we have to honor their memory today by bringing back, back, back bringing America back to what was intended. So as a Tea Partier, this is what I believe and what you will believe also. I believe the government should be very, very small, very teeny tiny, so small in fact that you have to squint in order to see it, kind of like dolphins jumping out at you in one of those magic eye books. They should not be blindly spending money to support entitlements for its laziest <laughs> citizens, okay? I get up, I make my own money, okay? We, we don't want to be giving our hard earned money, okay? in entitlements to lazy people. So we don't believe that the government should spend any money on entitlements. Switching gears, Social Security should be fixed and saved so that we can continue to provide entitlements to our senior citizens because they vote. And it's not socialism because they vote for us. It's different. Next topic, check mark. We believe Obamacare with its death panels panels of death, death tacked up on the wall. We believe it's unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. The policy of forcing, the government forcing upon its citizens to get health care. Telling people that if, if you don't get health care, that then you're going to have to pay a fine? That is cruel and unusual and oversteps the bounds of government. Now as a Tea Party, we believe that if you choose to not get health care, the government shouldn't impose any, any punishments on you. You should just die. We think that is much more fair and humanitarian. Mm. Put a check mark next to that one. Moving on. We believe again that big government is a problem and we think that government, we know that government, we are saying, mm -hmm, okay, that government should not have its hands in regulating the market mm -mm. because corporations donate to our campaigns. They're fine, you know, no problem. Campaigns are not cheap, okay? The corporations 
Love ya. We believe that the United States has no business in the uh, affairs of foreign uh, countries. We don't know any foreigners. Um, we don't want them here, and we certainly aren't gonna go visit them, okay? <laughs> like, I don't understand that. We shouldn't have to be the police of the world, okay? We have enough types of people here, if you know what I'm saying. I don't want the media getting a hold of me saying something that I'm not meaning and twisting my words. Let's just say that we have certain types of people that we have to police here and we got our hands full, okay? We have no business going over to Ethiopians and the Asians and policing them. We have no business in that. We are, however, the greatest nation in the world, and we should always be looked on as such, and we should be looked on as a leader and an example, and be the city on the hill. Uh, people should just uh, love us and respect us without our having to actually do anything, you know, because they are foreigners, okay? And just by that alone, we're better than them. Let's put a check mark next to foreign policy. You have now been briefed. Now let's talk a little bit more about Obama. Mm. We have something to say about him. We believe that our nation, this is very serious, okay, so everybody pay attention. We believe that our nation is being led by a president who hates America. We believe that Obama is obviously an evil Muslim terrorist and he was not born in America. Oh no, he would like you to believe that. Obama was actually born in the mythical lost sunken city of Atlantis. Fact. We have documents and we have proof. We can produce that birth certificate. Can Obama produce his again? I don't think he can. Mm -mm. Ship has sailed. Check mark. We believe globalization is a myth, okay? Just like global climate change, evolution, and Keynesian economics. Myth, myth, double myth. Check mark, you've been briefed. Let's just bring a conclusion and then we'll take our donut and peep break. And so some of you men can go to the men's bathroom, relieve yourselves and tap your feet, if you know what I mean. This is, this is the final point. Above all else, my fellow Americans and Tea Partiers, we believe that government has overstepped its bounds. Mm -hmm. We believe in the freedom of the individual and of the rights of the individual unless that individual is gay or atheist or black or Jewish or ugly. Individual, minor exceptions. Especially the gay thing, to you. <laughs> One thing that the government should fund is some sort of a camp to turn gay people into straight people. We should train them to every time they think about anal penetration, this image just pops up in their head. I believe that would work and make America a better place. In conclusion, thank you all for being citizens of this great country and come together with the Tea Party because as I've explained, our views make sense and would make America a better place. This video has been brought to you by viewers like you. Please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, youtube.com forward slash hello happy time. Also, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash victor underscore underscore ward. And follow me on Tumblr at hellohappytime.tumblr.com.